Hey, this is Adventures Ahead, and today we're doing a full walkthrough of the Carnival of Venezia. This ship was built in March 2019, and it was originally a Costa ship. It was refurbished in January of 2023 for Carnival's Market. It's 135,000 gross tonnage and has 4,090 guest capacity at double occupancy. It's also 1,061 feet long and has 1,424 crew on board. Decks 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are all staterooms. Let's start our tour on Deck 3, which is the lobby. This is where you walk onto the ship here in the atrium area. It's beautiful decor. Um, I love it. I think it looks great. The seating is really nice. A really nice atmosphere here. And a really nice bar area that I did visit several times on the ship. This is the adventure desk where you can book all of your shore excursions. There's also nightly music in this area and you can often catch people dancing. Next we're coming up to guest services. So this can be really crowded on embarkation day and the last day. So make sure you visit it another time. This is the Marco Polo restaurant. It's for set time dining. It's also a smaller dining area. This is the other main dining room on board. It's the Canal Grand. It's the larger of the two dining rooms. It's located on deck three aft. And we had brunch and your time dining in this dining room. Next up is the theater, and uh, this has seating on decks four and five. It also is uh, mostly theater style seating. Uh, they can accommodate a lot of guests in here. Um, bench style seating is in the back and on deck five. And uh, yeah, it's very nice acoustics. Walking out of the theater is the Dream Studio. So this is where you can get professional photographs taken on board. So the next area here has several uh, shops here. You have clothing shops. You have a cherry on top, which is one of me and Michelle's favorite shops with the candy. Then you also have the jewelry stores where you can buy something very nice at a uh, discounted price. Next up is the casino. This is a very nice casino. Lots of awesome slot machines and table games to play. There is a non-smoking and a smoking side um, for your enjoyment. This is the non-smoking casino. So this entire casino is non-smoking in this area. It's down the hallway. This is a really nice spot here. It's the Heroes Tribute Bar. There's lots of comfortable seating here. You can watch your favorite sports uh, on the TVs um, and just hang out at the bar, have a drink. Carnival has a large selection of art on board that you can purchase. Next up is the Limelight Lounge, which they have comedy shows, Art, art auctions and other things in here are hosted. This ship does offer conference rooms if you need to have some time with a party or with other guests. 
They have that available. Now we're on to deck five, the promenade. There are more shops here. We have your alcohol shops where you can get really good deals on alcohol, tobacco, cartons of cigarettes they're selling here. Uh, of course, more jewelry shops. You have perfume and cologne shops here with lots of great scents for you to buy. This floor also has the Cloud9 Beauty Salon, so you can book an appointment and get any um, hair services done. And then here's the rest of the shops on this floor. A favorite thing of ours to do is overlook the lobby from on deck five. It's a really cool view. Next up is a favorite among carnival guests, and that's Piano Bar 88, where you can sing along to your favorite tunes while enjoying a cocktail. Bonsai Teppanyaki is just across the way from Piano Bar, and this is an additional cost. It's open for lunch and for dinner. Here we got Bonsai Sushi. It is an additional cost, but well worth the price. Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse is also on this floor. Um, it is an additional cost, but we have really enjoyed our meals there. This is the Amari Bar. It's just like the Alchemy Bar, but with a different name. You can avoid enjoy your favorite personalized cocktail here. There's another uh, shop on board, which is Hipfish Accessories. So another shopping experience. And then next we are coming up to the Frizzante area. So that is a really fun area. Very nice seating here. And uh, then we have Il Vaggio, which is a four pay restaurant that serves Italian food and well worth the additional cost. And the, right here is the Fra Frizzante Bar. It was a really hopping place to hang out and get a good cocktail. And right next to that is the Hipfish Sunglass Hut. And you can buy your favorite pair of sunglasses to wear out on the islands. Next is the Pixels Photo Gallery. So you can come here and purchase any photos that you've taken on board. Next up is the Gondola Lounge. So the Gondola Lounge has nice seating and um, a lot of areas where you can just hang out. On our sailing, La Strada Grill was serving food back there in the corner. It was really nice to have. This area also has live music and trivia amongst other things. There is a bar in the Gondola Lounge and they can make pretty much any drink that you would want. Moving to the after the ship, we have the Carnival Bar and Lounge. Yes, and also you can enjoy karaoke here. It's a great place to lounge and have a conversation with somebody and to enjoy a cocktail. Yep, outside is open only to those who book in the Terezia rooms, but it is open to the public after 7 p.m. and there are a few hot tubs out there. Up next is a La Strada Grill, and it is outside on deck five, and you can get a lot of really good tasty items here. There are a variety of different seating options out here. So, you know, tables, chairs, loungers, all that kind of stuff you can find on this deck. So there is a designated smoking area on deck five. Um, I thought this area was pretty cool because they had uh, partitions up that would block the smoke from blowing uh, further to the aft of the ship when the, the ship was sailing.
Next we're moving on to deck 10 and the first thing coming up to deck 10 is Rococo. So this is a bar where you can get like slushy type alcohol drinks or any other kind of alcohol drinks. The Carnival Lido area has a Carnival Lido pool and a Lido area that's unlike any Carnival ship that you've been on. This is Java Blue and this is where you can get all of your specialty coffee. Um, they also serve some complimentary pastries in the morning and had an option for gelato. And we have Guy's Burger Joint with all your favorites and some Italian originals. This is Tomodoro, and this is like the blue guana on most other carnival ships, but with an Italian flair. This is the included Swirls ice cream machine. This is the Lido Marketplace, where they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet style. This area has a lot of seating where you can enjoy your meal at. This is the deli. It has lots of tasty options that's included with your fare. This is the seafood shack where they have tasty fried items or fresh items for market value. They do have a bar on the back of the ship that overlooks the aft pool. Next to the aft pool, there are also two hot tubs and lots of people were lounging back here during our sailing. This is Pizza Del Capitano, which is included with your fare and it's serving up great, hot, fresh pizza. Moving up to deck 11, there's lots of games on this floor to play with a friend or family. Um, there's also lots of little cozy places to sit and chill. They do have a bar on this deck, it's called the Pergola Bar. It's a nice place that you can just get your favorite drink. And this is the Camp Ocean Playground where your children can have a great time on the ship. As you can see, there's a huge basketball court um, where kids can play, adults can play. Um, this area was really nice and one of the biggest that we've seen on a ship yet. On the opposite side of Camp Ocean, there's a designated smoking area. In the aft on this floor, there is a nice lounge area overlooking the aft pool on deck 10. On deck 12 forward, you have the spa and fitness center. Outside on deck 12, you can find the jogging track and you can also find carnival waterworks where kids can go and utilize the fun water games that they have. This is where the outdoor fitness equipment is. Deck 14 has the mini golf and the ropes course. Deck 15, you have their serenity deck, which is adults only, and it is awesome. Lots of loungers, um, lots of places to sit. You do have a hot tub and it's really nice on a sea day. It can get crowded, so um, get your spot early and uh, just chill out for the day. This concludes our ship tour on the Carnival Venezia.
So like, comment, and subscribe for more cruise content.